I've been using Excel for God knows how many years and it seems to me this error goes way back where you've got a date field and it really is not working as a date like all the other tools for example in this case the problem we had was in GeoFlow but it doesn't really matter but this date field just doesn't respond as a date so you can go in and format it um, as a date pick any one of those and it's just not going to work and naturally any of the tools that are looking for date and GeoFlow we want to do time progression mapping well obviously it's not going to work if we don't have a date field that Excel recognizes so how do you fix it well there is an easy way to do it not elegant but it does work I actually just posted this response over in the uh, Microsoft Excel IT Pro section or whatever it doesn't really matter but here it is in writing so there's the steps. It's basically my old multiply by one formula. Hardly seems uh, something high tech or modern, but it, it does work. So essentially, I'm going to an empty cell, enter one, copy that cell with a one in it, then highlight all the cells with the dates in it that are giving me the problems, then use spa paste special multiply. And I'll just show you how that works. So in this case, just find an empty cell somewhere. It doesn't, doesn't really matter where. So in this case, one. There we go. Copy it. I'll do these ones here just so you can see the difference. Paste special, multiply, OK. And as you can see, the numbers are now all dates. And of course, if you understand how Excel works, Excel counts each date as a unique number. And it starts counting, I think, what is it? 1900 or something like that. Anyways, count back 36,161 days and you'll know the answer to that one. But since this is now a date field that Excel will recognize, I can then go in here, format it as a date, and it will actually work as a date. As you can see, it's now going to respond as a date. So these ones here, not dates. These ones here are dates as far as Excel is concerned and now I can carry on doing my mapping. So that's really the end of the uh, specific YouTube on how to do dates and how to fix them. Um, you can stick around, I'll just show you what I was doing with the reason I did this particular one recently was just to do some GeoFlow maps. Um, fabulous tool in 2013. Um, you gotta check it out. So insert GeoFlow, launch it. Since they already had one done, it automatically saved it as a tour. That's just how it does it. You can read all the details in any of the online um, forums on what this thing actually does. So anyways, now GeoFlow is open. And prior to this, I couldn't drop the, the uh, date field down here into the time setting. So I was getting nothing, no response here. I'm just going to do a little turn here. Probably go with the real maps. So in terms of mapping the outbreaks, I guess we can zoom in here a bit. See what's going on. I'm going to do, let's see, management units, I think. Yeah, I guess management units will work. And just some, some data to give the column some differences. So what we're seeing here, of course, are the different, not that it matters in this case, it's more an example, but these are uh, examples of how the mountain pine beetles are affecting the forests and of course now I have down at the bottom of the screen with the time dimension now properly available I have this play bar so I can watch these things go through time anyways just an example of why you know dates can be quite useful in some things if it's static data who cares but to do these on um, 3d over time maps you're going to need the date fields to work and if they don't this is one way to get them done Whoa. there you go hope it well hope it helps you um, anyways I'm putting this macro on my Microsoft Excel toolbar because I just seem to be doing date fields all the time anyways see you later